Today we're going to go over the dissection of the sheep part. At the very bottom of the ape is called the apex. Top is called the base of the heart. In the superior view, we are going to look at the oracles. Here is the right oracle. And on this side, we have the left oracle. These are nothing more than extensions of the atriums. Now, when you're looking at this heart, remember this is taken out of an individual, or well, in this case, a sheep, but uh, you're looking at the person's sides, not your own. So this is the right side, and this is the left side of the heart. Here we have a area that's uh, dissected. This is the pulmonary trunk, and we'll talk about that a little bit later in the dissection. Let's open up the heart, and we can see a lot of structures going on in here. The heart is made up of four chambers, and we're going to go over those four chambers here real quick. This is the right atrium. Right, left atrium, left ventricle. There's a valve right here between the atrium and the ventricle called the AV valve, atrioventricular valve. And on the other side, we also have another one that's called the tricuspid valve. Bicuspid valve has two, va uh, two cusps, and the tricuspid valve has three cusps. A bicuspid has a couple of names. Bicuspid valve can be also called AV valve uh, and also can be called a mitral valve. Here we have these strings attaching the valve to the muscle. This muscle is called a papillary muscle. The strings are called cordinae, tendinae, and it holds the valves in place. You have to be careful because in some individuals, papillary muscles can rupture or they break, break off. And then you have this valve that's leaky and can create a lot of uh, problems with the blood flow through the heart. Here we have the interventricular septum separating the right and left ventricles. And at the top, we have the septum that continues separating the atriums called the interatrial septum. The heart has three muscles. The outermost muscle is called the epicardium the myocardium, the middle muscle, and the innermost muscle right here is called the endocardium. Time real quick right here, the endocardium. So if we're talking about blood flow through the heart, the, the blood flow starts at the right atrium. It's gonna go through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle, cuts across, and through the pulmonary trunk. Here I'll close the heart so you can see that dissected uh, trunk we did earlier. Right here, it's pulmonary trunk. And it's gonna go through the pulmonary semilunar valve here. I'll show you a little better view of this. Opening that up and you can see that little valve right there. And that is the pulmonary trunk with the pulmonary semilunar valve. Blood goes from there into the pulmonary arteries, left and right. And that's going to go into the lungs. And in the lungs, they're going to have some gas exchange and pick up oxygen. Drop off CO2, pick up oxygen. And all that blood comes back into the left atrium. Through the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle and then right here it's going to go through these little valve this is the aortic semilunar valve and the blood's going to go through this valve into the aorta 